Hello and welcome to Ready Player Dumb. We are playing Bindi, no. the Dark Revival. And we Just are going... Just got dropped off by Betty. She told us to make a sleeping draft. Gilson. What's a Gilson? Find a Gilson. Let's go. Oh, here's the bathroom. Yeah, Betty, uh... Betty was pretty honest with us. She, mm -hmm. We asked her, do you trust Wilson? And she's like... Eh. Not really. Do I trust anything here? Dun, 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 <laughs> um, which uh, is like fair enough. Oh, God, sit. Let's go to the toilet. Why do I have this option? <laughs> I don't know. Because <laughs> did I go to the bathroom just now? Yep. Okay. Thanks for that game. Wash your hands. Oh yeah. <laughs> this game does not promote no! proper hygiene. Gilson. Nope. Are you sure you can't look in the shower? Yep. Hmm. No shower. Well, I guess we leave our room. Oh, can I? Maybe. Hey, Betty, what's a Gilson? I'm looking. Wait, there's a voice recorder there. The machine speaks to me, revealing its many possibilities. What I can accomplish using its power is beyond any measure. Life and death. memory I can remake the world anew but does the world deserve such a gift for now I have bigger matters at hand a man in a black coat came asking at the front desk about the machine said he was from the Gent Corporation fortunately the receptionist knew nothing I found his name on the sign-in form, Mr. Alan Gray. I don't know that name. What was? <laughs> Who's Alan was, Gray? That was just too much without. Yeah. There was just so much information in that. Like yeah. you talked for way too long. The machine speaks to me, revealing its many possibilities. What I can accomplish using its power is beyond any measure. Life and death become a thing of the past. Poverty and hunger a distant memory. I can remake the world anew, but does the world deserve such a gift? For now, I have bigger matters at hand. A man in a black coat came asking the front desk about the machine. Says he was from the Gent Corporation. Fortunately, the receptionist knew nothing and he left quietly. Later, I found his name on the sign-in form. Mr. Alan Gray. God, the way you read that felt like it went so much faster. Yeah, because um, because it was Wilson and the Keepers. Uh, uh, I don't know about the voice direction <laughs> for those. A theory about, about space. spaces, Alan Gray. Oh. Chapter seven? Seven. Spatial displacement of unknown elements. Let us imagine a long wire stretching between two points in a known time. We will call this length of time a euphonic base. From there, we call, can dispel all needs of societal normalcy and all typical understood junctions of the world we know as the present. Once the euphonic base is achieved, it creates a shared understanding that there must be a space around the wire. That is not the wire itself. The space, the Cromley vacuum, could be in itself a host to many wires running in as many directions as we can perceive. Using a vessel of flow, a flux break, we can escape from the wire to another wire. This allows us to not just reveal these alternate timescapes, but com command them with a larger understanding of their new existence. Further still, in theory, we can bring elements of one world to another, displacing matter into a new state regardless of the current host wire's rules. The reality and function of the elements becomes a new euphonic base. All right, sir. Why don't right, you give us the TLDR on that? that yeah. 
I, I agree with Audrey that a whole she, lot of horse shit. <laughs> is that what she said? Yeah, she's Cookie? like, it, it didn't help at all. Do you think there's a Gilson in here? Sure. Oh. Chapter 9, Simple Snacks. If you're uh, in a hurry like I always am, don't have to time to put together complex large meals. Fortunately, we have some scrumptious and simple recipes that satisfy and take no time at all to prepare. People will ask you how you made these so fast and you can just sit back and smile. Saucy Cheese Buddies rece recipe. Take a loaf of leftover Italian bread and slice it into four inch strips. Lightly butter your bread strips in one side only and lay them face up in a baking sheet. Toast in your oven for two to six minutes at 400 degrees or just until they begin to brown. Sprinkle a thick layer of mozzarella cheese mm. over the strips and leave them in the oven for just a minute or two to melt the cheese. Remove and serve with your favorite marinara sauce or spice things up with a little ranch dressing. Quick, easy, and super tasty. Next page, chocolate bacon soup. Not bad. Here. Not bad. Fisherman Jeb's fish guide. Section ah. four, freshwater critters. The yellow perch. If you should I just go to the Gilson fish? Go, go ahead and read the yellow perch. All right, if you find yourself looking for hard fish, fighting fish that won't rip your hands, <laughs> I'm Gil, I'm whatever, uh, you should look no further than the common yellow perch. The freshwater fish is always quick to bite anything they can get their jaws on. The best way to catch yourself one is to work your bait, worms, minnows, or larvae toward the bottom of the water and guide your line back up. You don't need much seasoning when it comes to cooking it either. The flavor of the yellow perch is built right in. Good eating. The Gilson fish. This is one of the strange little fish that is pretty hard to come by. The Gilson is not known to be any easy catch and it will ignore most bait. To make the matters worse, the Gilson can move very fast, making it a rare sight. In the end, I was able to snatch me up uh, this little guy with a very clever solution. Apparently, the Gilson is sensitive to sound vibrations and will go into shock upon appearing some sweet music. So crank up the tunes and this fish will be easy to grab. Crush up the Gilson into powder and stir into water for a powerful, soothing drink. Ew. So I'm looking for a fish? Yeah. Yes, and it's gotta right. be one here somewhere. Damn it. I need a fish. I want to find a fish. Where, Where would a fish be? Conservatory. Would it be in the wing that's closed? Oh, there's the conservatory. It looks like we're up. Oh. Fishy. Fishy. Maybe if it was closer. I like how I'm going through this work. Why didn't I just say Betty? I need a Gilson. I need a Gilson fish. Yeah. Betty. Betty. All right, let's now play that that's too. a fish. That's a fish. Now that's a fish. That's a lot of fish. That did it. Looks like the fish is asleep. Crap. Are we? Gotcha. It's like we're. You can't get away from me, little stinker. <clears throat> Hi. Uh. We needed a gill. I. Uh... I oh, forgot the Gilson again, didn't I? And there's some already ground up in the kitchen too. Uh, I'll be, uh, I'll, I'll bring it up to your room straight away, shall I? <laughs> oh, and uh, maybe you could put Harold back in his tank. He does so hate the dry air. What's happening? Freddy, you forgot the Gilson. It's your fault that we decided to go and get the pet fish <laughs> as our result. <laughs> Privacy, please. Oh, thank you. Mm -hmm. Three sips. Why are we just choosing to take this sleeping draft? Now, just three sips of water. I don't know. Yep. I guess we trust Wilson. 
One. It's not water, by the way. <laughs> I said water. It's ink water. Two. There's gotta be something in the mirror right there. You ready? Mm hmm. Hold my hand. <laughs> Three. Ink demon. <gasps> oh, hey, it's you. Alice. Maybe we should have been laying down when we drank that last one. We were so trusting of the process that we forgot we were in a horror game. Was Alice pretending to be Betty? I don't think so, but... Hmm. Among other things... Ooh. What's going on? Hi. Oh, it seems you're just a little overwhelmed. It's all right, honey. I understand. It's not every day one gets to bask in the glory. I think this is a different Alice. Maybe. Angel? <laughs> Alice, Angel, to be exact. That's who I am. A scent from above. It's really echoey in this room. your special chair. Then, I'll throw this heavenly switch here. If you get the puzzle right, you walk away. Get it wrong. You fry. Let's begin. Okay. Oh, I can talk to you. The bird won't have anything to do with the rabbit, but I hear he likes to court danger by sitting next to the fox. One of those puzzles. The fox has always hated the bear. They never sit next to each other. Oh, I need to write stuff like this down. Okay. All right. <laughs> All right, what was the first one? The bird won't have anything, the to, won't do have anything to do with the rabbit, but I hear he likes he to likes court to danger court by danger sitting next to the fox. Like sitting next to the fox. Okay. And then... The fox, uh, the has, fox always has always hated the bear. They never they sit next to each other. Sit next to each other. Okay. My friend the bear always sits next to the bird. After all, they went to school together. The bear always sits next to the bird. Yep. The fox thinks the rabbit smells of elderberry. I couldn't see them. The fox together. does not sit next to the rabbit. The rabbit never sits with the bird, but he loves to play for company of the bear. Did you get that one? Never sits next to the bird, but likes the bear. The rabbit never, the rabbit sits, never with sits with the bird, the bird but, he loves but he loves the playful company of the bear. Of the bear. Okay. The puppets 
box? Well, he, he wouldn't be caught dead sitting on the left. Far too pedestrian. Okay. He's sitting on the left. So that sets up the order. Do you mind if I look at this? Yeah. All right. <clears throat> the bird, not next to rabbit, but next to fox. So the bird is next to the fox. Okay. So, so the fox is on the edge. The fox sits on the right. Fox. So it goes fox, bird, bear, rabbit. I should probably write these down. But I'm going to put them in order. Fox, bird, bear, rabbit. Is that all of them? Uh, bird. Bear. Whoops. Wait, I'm putting this in there. That means it would be... Bird. Fox. Oops. Okay. Do I have everyone accounted for? Alright, uh, bird next bear. Fox does not sit next to the rabbit. We're good there. Rabbit never sits with the bird. We're good there. Fox never sits on the left. Bear on the fox. Don't sit next to each other. We're good. Alright. So, okay. So if you could just have that ready. Where do we put in our salt? Lady. Oh, do we just sit back in our chair and I tell I was, her? I was looking to see that, but... Is it upstairs? There's like ladders here. There are ladders. That wasn't very hard. Yeah. I'm very smart. It might be you're assigning who's sitting at the table. What a role. Wait. Oh, okay. So you're just switching, spinning the Yeah, dials. so the fox is on the right. Yeah. Okay. Bird. Monkey. <laughs> Bear. Uh, and rabbit. rabbit. Okay. Good. I wonder if it's gonna get more complicated. They win. You sit in your I special probably, chair. I probably, I wonder if I have to pull the switch. You gotta sit in your special chair. And then if you got it right, she'll pull the switch. Hold on tight, honey. Here it comes. Three, two, one. Oh. So they got killed? Yeah. Why? Because we, uh... Because we did good? Yeah. All right. Did the puzzle right. <laughs> doors open. That door's open. I think the only thing is. Was there anything table. else up here? I don't think so, but there's like a little alcove to the left. I'll check that out. Just make sure, yep, we're down here. Boy, I wish you could just drop down from the left. I, I tried. I just wanted to see if that was an option. It's just a yeah, battery nothing. refill. This like really does mean anything. Whoa. You see me? Well, you know what? You gave us the choice, so it's your fault. Yeah, you pooped the party. Hey. Sweet. Got this back. Okay. Hey, you guys are all right. And here I was feeling bad.
<laughs> I was wondering why it was giving me the option for like, oh yeah, food and stuff. I'm like, why would I need food? There was a power station, I think. Huh? Yeah. Yeah. No, that was over to here. Left. Nope, behind you. Over here? To the left. To the left. There you go. Oh, yeah. Look at you. I see things. She sees things. You're cursed with man eyes. Mayonnaise. <laughs> Mayonnaise. I'll have it my way. That's all. Take that, you evil bitch. Yeah, I guess we can charge it up again. Yep. Ready to kick some ass. Oh, those are different people. Huh? Hmm. Mm. Why can we sit back in the chair? To enjoy the scenery. Yeah. Let's go sit in her chair. Dead people. Oh. Interesting. Oh. Uh. Locked. Was there a way out? There's a runner on here. Oh, can I. I think you're pointing too far up. Is it? Yeah. I think you just want to. Like that? Maybe just. Yeah. Well, not that low. Yeah, there you go. Let's try that. What can I say? She knows her video games. Is that her? Mm -hmm. The bitch? Mm -hmm. Alice Angel, sent from above. Oh. I think so. I don't think so. so you're the one with the tally gun. But you was your stupid thing. Your puzzle wasn't really that hard. <sighs> it's probably a lot harder if you don't have anything to write down. Yeah. But it wasn't. That's her bullet. No, but why? Because she's shooting me. But why? Let's go. Oh, is she still shooting? Oh, you're out there. Yeah. I think I pressed L1 and that's the run You're button. Hiding from me. That's precious. Where do you she wants to be pretty. Mm -hmm. There's a half of her face is now. What happened to half of her face? I don't know. I know you're out there. <laughs> yeah, I pressed the wrong button. I 
Oh wait. Can I do that through that gate? I got it. Oh, I don't think the game would make it that easy. And why not? Stop hiding! Start dying! Where was my ladder? I think it's for there it is. Where did you go? Definitely like a platform you can you potentially flow to. That's precious. Yeah. Away. Mm. Oh. No, you're out there. Mm. Oh, this way. Where did you go? So that drops down. I don't know. You freak of ink demon. Keep forgetting. See if there's more over here. Yeah, did you get to the upstairs of these bathrooms? Like, no. yeah, try. Um, so there was this area here. So just get on the other side of this wall. That's interesting. Oh, I have been over here. Yeah, but you haven't been to the upstairs. Is there a way to get to the upstairs? Where did you go? Oh, 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 oh. Music to my ears. I wonder if this is uh gonna drop that down. Well, these doors are just here. Go through the door. You just open it. Oh. You hiding from me? That's precious. Now it's actually open. Alice, so we gotta sneak up behind her, apparently. Okay, Are you able to just flow behind her? You we might have to get her to where she's changing her out. Side. Yeah. Gotcha. <laughs> I guess she was hitting me. With the bum. Alright, then. Wait, where am I? She's up there. She's up there. Mm -hmm. Go! Ladder. Food. The food was there. downstairs, I think. I think you need to point more to where she is. Seems like that door that we just opened leads us to where she's standing, probably. Come out, come so we just need to find a way. Are. 
two there. Yeah. There's I boxes. There's boxes yeah. there. I think it's LT when you're close to her. I think it's an icon. Oh, there you go. Bye. <laughs> I don't think. I don't think it worked. She's growling. Is it the good Alice? Or is it Wilson? Good Alice. Good Alice? My face. You have my face. It's our face. I'm beautiful. Always were. This feels so familiar. Ah. Are you all right, Audrey? Alice, I Whoop. cannot begin to tell you how good it is to see you. Mm -hmm. And wolf this him. must be your wolf. Audrey, meet Tom. He's my protector. Hello, Tom. My friend. You both got here just in time. Now I understand why you don't like being called Alice. The machine creates many of the same forms. At least, on the outside. On the inside, we're all pretty different. Well, from now on, I'm gonna call you something other than Alice. It just doesn't suit you. Oh? What do you have in mind? How about... Allison? It's not bad. Okay, I'll try it out. But... I added an un... Only if you can tell me what in heaven's name you're doing in Wilson's retreat. Wilson! I almost forgot. I have to get back right away. Are you crazy? Wilson's our enemy. Do you even know him? Have you ever talked to him? I've seen what he's done. That's good enough for me. Look, it sounds like he has a plan to kill the ink demon. For good. And I think he can help us all. I just... I just need to go back and hear him out. Well, if it's true, you'll both need as much help as you can get. The Ink Demon won't go down without a fight. Tom and I will gather some of our friends. Anyone who's left. Good luck, Audrey. You too, Allison. Mind if I take this? All right. Well, when we come back in Ready Player Dumb, I guess we're going to trust Wilson. And be like, he's a good old man who <laughs> killed me. And, yeah. and we're happy about it. See you next time on Ready Player Dumb.